Welcome to another video on AudioTubes.com to explain some rare tubes to you. Today is 12AX7. One of the more famous 12AX7s considered a rare tube is the Amperex Bugle Boy tube. These tubes were made in Holland. Uh, this one is a short plate version. These are great sounding tubes. There is also a long plate version. The long plate having plates that are 17 millimeters long. This one actually was made for RCA, but on the other side it is labeled made in Holland. And these frequently have a D-shaped getter up near the top. And the earlier ones will actually have a date code on the very bottom uh, between the pins. Another long plate tube that people like to collect are the old Mullard long plate tubes. This one is one of the earliest types from the mid-1950s, having a square-shaped top getter and uh, long skinny plates, frequently said Mullard and um, um, BVA below that. Another version, the long plate Mullard. This one with a round or a ring type halo getter at the very top. And then finally the Mullard standard plate edition which the plates are shorter and this one has the old what's called the shield logo on it. Uh, these plates are um, about three or four millimeters shorter than the long plate versions and these have a ring getter at the top. Three other rare tubes by Mazda from France the rarest being the 12AX7S. The 12AX7S is a silver plate or nickel plate with a triple mica. Sometimes they had various labels, this one being labeled for CIFTE, C-I-F-T-E. Another version here, uh, this one just has the Mazda label frequently with five stars below that. But as you can tell, again, it's got the bright nickel plates and the three um, uh, triple or triple mica. And finally, some versions of Mazda had a military type stamp on the side and they uh, very faintly would say 12AX7S, the S I should say being uh, a uh, connotation for low noise. And this is another Mazda brand, uh, was known as Mazda Bellevue. And then finally, nothing would be complete without talking about the rare Telefunken tubes. The best of the Telefunken 12AX7s are the smooth plates or flat plates, where the plates are actually totally flat, the gray plates inside. The best of these were made for medical equipment, and they'll often have a label on the side that says selected tube. Some will actually have the selected tube stamped right into the glass or stamped on the glass. These were made specifically for medical equipment, uh, Leeds and Northrop uh, test equipment or grass medical equipment. More often than not, they'll have a little red dot near the top to indicate that they have passed critical test, uh, testing for medical equipment. Another medical grade tube will have a blue uh, paint mark on the very tip. And these are also the same uh, Telefunken smooth plates. All Telefunkens made in the Telefunken factory in Germany will have a diamond or a, a square shape, depending on how you look at it, in the very bottom between the pins. And again, a smooth plate version. And this one is a standard smooth plate. It does not have a color on the tip, and it does have the standard Telefunken label, but it is not a selected tube. And then there are OEM versions, original equipment manufacturer, frequently stamped with the brand of the amplifier. This one is made for Fisher, but it again is a Telefunken smooth plate and does have the diamond mark on the bottom. And then finally the Telefunken rib plates, which often have a smaller Telefunken logo on the glass, and the plates have horizontal ribs running across the width of the plate. But again, they do have the diamond mark on the, on the very bottom. And these tubes have a little bit of a thicker, warmer sound than the smooth plates. Uh, but generally, the smooth plates are, are considered uh, superior for detail. And frequently, Telefunken tubes will have labels that look poor like this. The label material got extremely chalky and would flake off even inside of the box. So this does not mean the tube is bad or that it's a fake, but actually, actually is more of an indication of a genuine tube. 
So hopefully this will help you find some of those really rare uh, tubes and keep an eye out for them because these uh, tubes are still available and we have them in stock. We'd like to help you find the right tube for your amplifier, preamp, or whatever need. Please give us a call, audiotubes.com. Check us out on the web and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.